inflammation is discomforting and severe is unchecked. Here are some foods that causes inflammation. Anything fried, oils with excess omega-6, meat from animals that eat grains, highly refined flours, sugar, alcohol, dairy products, trans fat, breads, processed meat items, additives, corn syrup, iodized salt, peanuts, seton, agave, and packed juices. Inflammation is not always a bad thing. In case of injuries, your body responses in the form of inflammation only for protecting it from further damage. However, when inflammation becomes permanent in your body, it can cause severe medical conditions including, but not limited to obesity, constant fatigue, diabetes, heart diseases, etc. What's causing such permanent inflammation in your body? It is nothing but certain foods that you might be eating daily. Here are the 17 foods that can cause inflammation in your body. 1. Anything that's fried. When you fry foods in vegetable oil, you are doing damage to yourself. The contributor to inflammation in fried foods is age, advanced glycation and product. The more ages your body has in it, the higher the inflammation rate will be. Studies have shown that reducing the consumption of fried foods brings age levels down in people. 2. Oils with excess omega-6. Whether it is a vegetable oil or some other kind of oil, if it has too much omega-6, it can contribute to inflammation. The cause of inflammation from omega-6 fatty acids is their breakdown process in which they get converted into prostaglandins in addition to many other proteins that promote inflammation in the body. 3. Meat from animals that eat grains protein. There are two reasons why meat can cause chronic inflammation. First, today's livestock is feeding on grains, whereas it used to feed on grass in the past. These animals then need various antibiotics for proper growth that are entering your diet as well. Furthermore, the high content of saturated fat in meat also causes inflammation. 4. Highly refined flours. Refined flour passes through the digestive system faster. Fast digestion causes a quick rise in sugar and insulin levels in the body. This response links to inflammation. The main inflammatory marker in these flours is Pi-1. 5. Sugar. When you are overeating sugar, you cause the excess of it to produce cytokines. Cytokines are directly related to inflammation in the body. Avoid sugar not only in your regular coffee or teacup, but also in the form of candies and jellies as well. 6. Alcohol. We are putting alcohol after sugar, because the high content of sugar in alcohol is one of the main causes of inflammation. Keep in mind that alcohol causes the most damage to your liver. Continued use of alcohol for a long time results in the inflammation of the liver. If not given proper attention, this inflammation can cause tumors. 7. Dairy products. The main reason why consuming dairy products can lead to inflammation is that human bodies are not very good at digesting their certain proteins. Lactose and casein are present in abundance in dairy products. These two are the culprits that can result in chronic inflammation if you continue to use dairy products. 8 trans fat. The two inflammatory markers TNF-alpha and IL-6 are abundant in trans fats. They are the reason why trans fat can cause inflammation. Keep in mind that there are many foods in your daily diet that have trans fat in them including margarine and various fast foods. Avoid any products that say hydrogenated on them because they have trans fat in them. 9. Breads. Bread that you buy from the stores can be a cause of inflammation. These types of bread are prepared in a concise time, resulting in improper fermentation. This improper fermentation reduces the amount of gluten and starch in the bread making it hard for your digestive system to digest it. Intestinal inflammation is the result of eating these bread. 10. Processed meaty items. If you are a fan of eating sausages and jerkies, you might want to read this. These items are very high in saturated fat and ages. The pasteurization and drying processes of these meats cause ages to form. The more you eat these items, the more prone you are to chronic inflammation. 11. Additives. Many of the ice creams and almost all the candies you eat have artificial additives in them. Since these ingredients are artificial, you can conclude that your body does not have a special function to digest them. Your body's natural response to artificial coloring and other additives is to fight them, which results in inflammation. 12. Corn syrup. You will be surprised to know how commonly corn syrup is present in the foods you eat. Corn syrup even leaves sugar behind when it comes to its fructose content. In sugar, there is 50% fructose, whereas corn syrup has 55% of it. 
High fructose corn syrup has many names such as maize, dahlia syrup, glucose syrup, etc. 13. Iodized salt. While it does not cause inflammation directly, but when your kidneys are not able to get rid of enough salt from your blood, the sodium in salt causes your blood's volume to increase. When your blood expands, the veins expand at the same time. Any inflammation of the body then worsens. 14. Peanuts. The reason why peanuts cause inflammation is due to the presence of molds on them. When these allergens enter your body, your immune system responds to them, resulting in inflammation. 15. Seton. Vegans and vegetarians find the idea of eating fake meat fascinating. However, what they don't realize is that this meat is often a result of wheat protein gone through an extreme texturizing process. This meat is processed and causes inflammation just like red meat. 16. Agave. You will often be asked to use it instead of sugar. What people don't realize is that agave has nearly double the amount of fructose in it than white sugar. The more agave you take, the more damage you do to your liver. 17. Pack juices. Pack juices almost always go through the pasteurization process, which means very high temperatures. This process kills even the good bacteria in the juice. All you get is sugar. As mentioned above on many occasions, sugar will cause inflammation in your body. Keep fresh juices close and pack juices as far away as possible, 